Emmerdale continues tomorrow night at 7 here on ITV. Now, though, the ITV News at 10. The election day immigration numbers that embarrass the Prime Minister. Official figures show a rise, despite a pledge by David Cameron, with most coming from within the EU to work. Also on the programme, Putin's fury over Prince Charles as the Foreign Office rebuffs Russia. Why fear of the Taliban is fueling a polio epidemic in Pakistan. And the new technology giving medical students a surgeon's eye view. This is ITV News at 10 with Mark Austin and Mary Nightingale. And finally, medical students wanting a surgeon's eye view of an operation are to be helped by some cutting-edge technology. They'll be able to look and learn wherever they are in the world thanks to new Google Glasses. They'll even be able to text the surgeon during an operation. Our health editor, Catherine Jones, has been taking a high-tech look. Seeing through a surgeon's eyes to teach the next generation of doctors. This operation today a world first by offering interactive online training to medical students across the globe. The first thing you'll notice is loops of small bowel. The surgeon at the Royal London Hospital was wearing a Google Glass headset. Now this chap has a cancer. This is the view the device captured and streamed live on the internet. Students watching could type questions which were projected into the corner of the surgeon's field of vision so he could answer them while he worked. Those are the three structures that are commonly at risk during these procedures that one would worry about. So hopefully that answers the question. Operations like this are live streamed to lecture theatres and medical conferences for training. The difference here is that any medical student anywhere in the world can log in and learn. The simplicity and low cost of this approach means demonstrations of best practice like this would be available to surgeons at a much earlier stage of their training. They're seeing an operation live. They'll also be able to talk to me by the text messages coming up on my screen as we speak um, and getting the answers they need. So it is, although we have a lot of live operations, they don't have to get that interactivity, particularly at student level. Today's operation was followed live by 1,900 students in more than 50 countries and the Royal College of Surgeons welcomed the event as a glimpse of the great potential of the technology. The patient they tuned in to see was Roy Pulfer, who told me before the op why he was keen to be involved. It's the only way that they can learn is by seeing somebody actually doing it rather than reading a book. So you don't mind that you're no. going to be broadcast around no, the world? No, I've got no qualms at all. Roy's operation to remove a tumour was a success. And more than that, it showed the potential technology now has to better equip the surgeons of the future with the skills to save lives. Catherine Jones, ITV News. Remarkable. And that is tonight's ITV News at 10. Good on the patient. Not sure I'll be so sanguine. <laughs> oh, the national no weather thanks. is next. Then catch up with the news from your part of the UK. But from the two of us, good night. And thanks for watching. Good night.